are you planning to try getting pregnant or avoid one naturally using the kits as well as the apps so understanding ovulation is the key for this it's not as simple as we think ovulation happens typically 14 days before your menstruation which means to say that you can look back and say okay i ovulated on this particular day however we cannot look forward and say that you got ovulation at this particular date so how do we do this so in a typical 28 day cycle the ovulation happens on the day 14 of the cycle whereas on a 30 day cycle it happens on day 16. what if you have irregular periods that's when understanding your body comes into play so what are the changes you can expect to happen during the time of ovulation first of all your vaginal discharge changes its texture it becomes thin watery and stretchy typically like a egg yolk Secondly, your body temperature raises, which means that you will feel slightly hotter during the time of ovulation. Thirdly, you may experience some amount of discomfort on one side of your pelvis, which is not unusual at all. In fact, some women may experience some spotting as well around the time of ovulation. So tracking this, say for a period of three to six months and understanding your body will help you exactly pinpoint when you're ovulating. And this helps you plan a pregnancy as well as avoid one. However, relying on ovulation tracking to avoid a pregnancy may not be a very good idea. You may need other additional support from your doctor to make sure that you avoid that unplanned pregnancy.